Hi there, in this video, I will show you how you can change the rows and columns display options in Python. So many times when we import the data, we are limited by the number of rows and columns that uh, Python data frame shows. So let's see how you can adjust it so that if you want more rows or columns or all the rows and all the columns, then how you can display it. So first of all, let's go ahead and include import pandas as PD and then go ahead and implement or import the data so this is the data we have been using and i'm going ahead and showing this data only and i will what i'll do is i'll just show the entire data set by just uh, placing the object so this is what i am importing it over here from this excel file and zero indicates that i am importing the very first sheet which is order so that's why i'm creating this object orders all right, let's go ahead and execute that. It will take a couple of seconds, but yeah, it's pretty fast as you can see. And now if you see these number of columns, so we have all these columns, but down there you have these three dots or ellipses, which indicates that uh, it has suppressed uh, some of the columns based on the settings, the default settings that it has. And then it has shown some further column, not all the columns. Similarly, if we see the rows i'll show you going slowly and that you will see that many rows have been suppressed so if i go down yeah so from 29 see this these rows have been suppressed and then you have 8369 and then so it appears to me that it shows maybe around first 30 and last 30 rows but total as it ca you can see that it has 8399 rows and 21 columns all right so let's see how you can adjust the settings so for that you have the method called pd.get underscore option and within that you need to specify display dot max underscore rows and if i execute this it is giving me an error and let's see this why it has given i think i have specified it correctly so it is giving us display dot max underscore rows well it is saying that there is no such case let's see whether i have specified it correctly or not so what we can do is to know all of these different options we have one of the method called pd dot so pd indicates pandas dot describe underscore options so let's go ahead and get this option and see why it is giving us an error describe underscore option and execute this and here we have all the display related options so let's go down and try to see the option that we were trying to execute so it has display dot height what should be the height large error latex all of these line width what should be the line width maximum categories this sets the maximum number of categories panda should output when printing out a categorical so a lot of useful information and the property i was trying is one of the property i wanted to show you is max column and uh, another property i wanted to show you is max underscore rows yeah so this is the property i wanted to show you so but it said it's a wrong option so i'll just copy it directly from here and put it over there so it's saying that if max underscore rows is exceeded switch to truncate view that's the default property depending on the large underscore object are either centrally truncated or printed as a summary view. all right and the value none is unlimited that means you wanted to you want to show the all the rows when you are specifying none all right so let's try and copy this let's see if it copied over here and let's try, try to run pd dot get underscore option and within single quotation display dot x underscore rows yeah so this time it has gave me the output i'm not pretty sure why i did that because i think i wrote this condition properly over there but maybe i have done some mistake in while writing display or max underscore rows so 
as we suspected that it is showing us first 30 and last 30 rows so total 60 rows and that assumptions have uh, proved right similarly if we want I'll just copy this so that I don't have to write it again and make the mistake while writing and uh, display dot max underscore columns and while I do that it shows us the 20 columns maximum that it can show however if you remember from our data set we had uh, 21 columns right so maybe it has just suppressed one column in those three different ellipses that I showed you so how you can uh, show all the columns let's say you have 50 columns and you really want to see it all the 50 columns but not just 20 columns then how you can do that well the option is pd dot set underscore option it's pretty straightforward as you can see and again you need to pass the same parameter display underscore rows copy and I'll just paste it over here to avoid those mistakes I say silly made mistakes so set underscore options now if you know the column numbers like or maximum rows number so maybe in my case let's say I want to specify 9000 rows but let's say this is dynamic and uh, it keeps on shifting like from 9000 to maybe tomorrow 19000 who knows data grows exponentially so what you can do is specify none as it was pres uh, shown over here or not present shown over here like none this properties so none basically says that all of the rows so for example max rows over here none value means unlimited and that's what we have done it over here so we have specified none and let's execute this and now if i show you the order orders and this way now it will take a couple of seconds because it is printing all the rows not just the 60 rows and after a couple of seconds as you can see this is now here all of the rows so earlier on 29th it has uh, suppressed it but now you can see 198 214 all of the rows that are present here but uh, be very very cautious when you are doing this because uh, based on the size of the data set it can take a lot of time so for me it took around three or four seconds to print just the 8398 or 8399 rows all right um, after that you can even set the options for max underscore columns so I'll just copy this and when I set that you will not see the three ellipses that we are seeing here in the columns so let's quickly wrap that up with max columns settings columns and none and once you do that and try to print orders let me just you know show you two rows so that it's fast and as you can see now there is no ellipses like this and we are getting all the column names right so this way you can set these settings and get the output in the desired format which you require next thing after doing all of these settings you know specifying the that you need all the rows and all the columns there may be a requirement that once you are starting fresh with a new data set you may not want all of these options right or maybe an extension to it once you have seen all of these rows and columns uh, there may be situation that uh, you know you no longer want to see all the rows and all the columns because it is taking a lot of time when it is printing and you want to reset the options so for that again it's pretty straightforward you need to give the command pd dot reset option and display dot max underscore rows i hope i have specified it correctly but let's see all right it has not given me the error so that means now we are good similarly if you want you can reset the option for columns display dot max underscore columns and 
press control enter and now it has been properly reset the options and to see this thing in action so you can write order dot head and just see the two rows and see now you have the ellipses or three circle three dots have come back as it was in the case of a default so you have a lot of properties if i just show you again instead of going back you have a lot of options but when you go into pd dot describe underscore option you get a number of options which you can visit if i show you it will take a long time so i just wanted to show you show you the main ones like while doing the date setting you want to say date first or column space or column header justify left right all those formatting things which you probably need so that you can get the output in the desired format or in the desired layout so that's pretty much all i have for you and i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic